All right, hey folks. So uh, I think last time we left off, uh, we were getting ready to uh, torque the crank bolts. One thing I uh, forgot to put or show in my last video or when we were putting the crank in, I forgot to talk about uh, installing the thrust washers. Um, so <laughs> afterwards, I realized I hadn't installed the thrust washers and went and lifted up the crank and put them back in. The crank is now put in fresh bearings um, and fresh uh, uh, main bolts, which I just picked up from the dealer yesterday. So I was waiting on torquing down, obviously, the bolts until um, the brand new bolts came in. Prior to that, I measured the uh, bearing clearance with the uh, obviously with the old bolts. Again, you got to uh, reuse or you cannot reuse the bolts because uh, they are TTY torque to yield. So when you uh, put your final torque on them and then do your last, you know, 90 degree rotation or whatever. There's a slight uh, extension of that bolt. And so to undo it and put it back in, you don't get that extension anymore. Anyway, brand new bolts. We're going to torque them down. The torque spec is 65 Newton meters and an additional 90 degree turn. And then so once we do that, we'll uh, make sure the crank is spinning freely. Uh, here is a thrust washer. And what this does is it kind of, on that uh, middle of the crank, on the, the main, uh, one of the main, the main, main, the main journal there, um, there's two of these, one on each side uh, of like the saddle of the crank, and then they just kind of slide into the side of the crank. So they hug the block and the, uh, the crank. Uh, I believe this face goes against the crank and then this face goes against the block. So there's two thrust washers. And the thrust washers basically just prevent uh, too much lateral movement of the crank. Anyway, long story short, um, we got thrust washers in there properly, both sides on, on this crank, on this engine. And so uh, I didn't get it on video. I just want to make that note that they are in there. All right. Now we're going to torque it to 65 Newton meters. Let's get a half inch torque wrench. So here's our torque wrench, and then what we'll do is kind of rotate this this way. Hmm. All right, so not a big, uh, huge deal. You've probably seen somebody torquing bolts before. Okay, 65, one. So we'll set that aside for the moment. We're gonna do our 90 degree rotation. So there are a couple of different ways you can do it. I just do it in a simple fashion, which is once I have them torqued to my 65 Newton meters, I'm going to draw a, uh, a line going this way, right, in relation to the block. Basically, it's going perpendicular to the center axis of the block. And then I'm just going to rotate that line by tightening the bolt. So it's got 90 degrees of rotation. And that's how I can tell if I got 90 degrees. So here's my paint marker. And for reference, you can see my lines. They're pointing, uh, I guess, east to west. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them point north to south. And that, I, that way I know I got my, uh, got my 90 degrees. And Okay. All right, last one. All right. Whew. So that should be appropriately torqued. And uh, that's a big piece to have uh, done. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. 
make sure that our crank is spinning nicely. All right, this is one of my favorite parts to get that initial rotation of the crank. And because pistons aren't attached, oh goodness, it is so, so smooth. Feels so good. Cool. So that is a big, big step forward. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, ensure that our pistons are appropriately, uh, have their connecting rods, or I'm sorry, ensure the pistons have their piston rings installed. And then we are going to uh, make sure the rods have bearings and then they're gonna uh, plug our pistons in there, connect them up. And then, uh, then it'll be the oil pump. All right, so let's take a break and finish up a beer, and then we'll be back and do that.